As the winner in most of the primary and caucus contests thus far, and with a commanding delegate lead, Donald Trump seems to be well on track to win the GOP nomination. But there are two big hurdles that those who oppose Mr. Trump see potentially standing in his way. Ohio and Florida on March 15th. If the anti-Trump establishment wins them, both of them, they could effectively block Mr. Trump from getting the 1,237 delegates he'd need to win the nomination. And that would most likely lead to a contested convention in July. And at that point, anything could happen. That would make the large anti-Trump camp happy. On the other hand, victories for Mr. Trump in Ohio and Florida could mean that the anyone but Trump strategy is likely to fail. To see why, let's look at the math. So far, Mr. Trump has accumulated a total of 319 delegates. In each state, win or lose, he's been getting, on average, 44% of the delegates. If he continues to get that margin in the eight remaining contests before March 15th, he'll bring his total to 403. Then comes March 15th. In addition to Ohio and Florida, four other contests are happening too, and most of them divide their delegates proportionally. If Mr. Trump continues to take an average of 44% of those delegates, that will get him to 480. Ohio and Florida, though, are winner-take-all jackpots. Adding Florida's 99 delegates and Ohio's 66 delegates to his total, that would get him to 645 delegates. That's basically the halfway mark to the 1,237 he needs. It would also deal major blows to Governor John Kasich of Ohio and Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, possibly leading them to drop out of the race. So after March 15th, if Mr. Trump were to win all the upcoming winner-take-all states, plus get his usual 44% of the delegates from the proportional states, he'd finish the process with a grand total of 1,259 delegates, putting him over the finish line. Recent polls show Mr. Trump holding a big lead in Florida and a smaller one in Ohio. If Mr. Trump loses either or both of them, It'll be a delegate fight to the finish, to the last primary in mid-June, and if he falls short, the battleground becomes the floor of the Republican National Convention in July. That's today's Campaign Calculus.